For the 100 video of the channel, I have decided to do something special about it. And here we are. I am running FreeBSD version 14 on my actual hardware. And this is my second laptop, a ThinkPad T430 from over 10 years ago. A bit of background here. I have installed FreeBSD 13.1 on this machine somewhere around late February. I have done all the setup back then and even like planned to release some videos, but I didn't record them. But then I got involved into the other things in my life and I had to put that uh, plan on hold. And until a couple of days ago, I didn't have time even to come back to the FreeBSD install and then start recording the videos. But nonetheless, here we are. I have upgraded directly from version 13.1 to version 14. The, pro the process wasn't as simple and as straightforward as OpenBSD. It took a bit of more time, uh, more research, and also at some point I have broken everything meaning that I couldn't boot to GUI and all the packages were broken, even the package manager were broken. But nonetheless, I solved all the problem. I didn't need to reinstall everything and I just managed to fix the upgrade and then get everything up and running again. So far, everything is fantastic. Under FreeBSD, everything is running smoothly. I am running i3 blocks which is not available on OpenBSD, but it's available under FreeBSD. Also, I run, also I use i3 blocks on my Arch install. So it's a easier approach to port my dot files from Linux to FreeBSD. And also I am recording currently this video using OBS. So these are the things that some of the packages that are missing on OpenBSD that are available on FreeBSD and it kind of provides additional comfort. On top of it, in version 13.1, I could somewhat play Spotify using a Linux browser, for example, in this case, Brave browser. I think I have showcased you how to install a Linux browser from this repository, Linux browser installer. And it used to work under 13.1. I am not sure who to blame. I highly suspect that actually the problem is from the DRM upgrades and stuff. But nowadays that Spotify is not playable, unfortunately, under FreeBSD anymore, even though that I use literally a Linux browser with DRM enabled and uh, every other things as well but it's kind of not working. I get this error or if the page loads completely, then still the video, the, the audios are not playable. I read somewhere in the FreeBSD forum that they managed to work around something even like better, meaning that they implemented some sort of APIs that interface between a FreeBSD native Chromium that is compiled with the DRM flag enabled and a Linux emulator that executes the DRM binaries. There's a long post about it. I have forgotten where it is. I'm sure it's in the FreeBSD forum and that's supposed to fix the DRM issue and then nobody requires to actually install Linux browser installer. But nonetheless, that's a longer story. If I manage to get that one up and running, definitely I will create a video about it. And yes, so the OpenBS, the FreeBSD version 14 got released on 20th November 2023, like around two weeks ago, more or less. And it's a very good product. I probably have to create a video kind of explaining my experience on FreeBSD versus OpenBSD, but of course this is not going to be a comparison or a fight between the BSD installations, but mainly to give more insight about 
what works best under what operating system and possibly provide some sort of uh, insights to help people to choose uh, better whether for example they find out that FreeBSD works for works for them or OpenBSD works for them and I think each of these operating system has its own merits definitely in FreeBSD what I like is is at least the abundance of the packages compared to OpenBSD for example here I have VS Code I have VirtualBox that is fully functional and also it has a very powerful uh, hypervisor and that one also is great on, on OpenBSD you have other other things that are fantastic for example security level is very high the installation is super simple straightforward upgrade whether it is a package upgrade whether it is a version upgrade things like that is easy it has great man pages etc etc but this is this video is not about comparing uh, or doing any sort of like in details comparison between these two operating system i just talked about it randomly i will create a proper video about it so anyway here we are and this is my setup and my plan is that to keep using freebsd alongside with openbsd so just to make everything clear openbsd is not gonna go nowhere i have openbsd installed uh, my thinkpad t480 and freebsd installed i uh, my thinkpad t430 so both exist and I am not going to stop creating videos about OpenBSC. I will still focus on OpenBSC, but alongside, I will also create content more about FreeBSD because I think it deserves some attention too. That's all about this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank all of the amazing Patreon and Coffee supporters. Your generosity and support means the world to me and keeps me really motivated to continue creating content. Thanks again for your generosity and contribution.